Ladies and gentlemen, here in Manhattan, we are to go with our next bout of the evening. It is scheduled for three rounds of Muay Thai in the 100. 140 pound weight to gym. Referee, Mel Pereva. Introducing first, he's fighting out of the red corner. He wears red with black and silver. He made in at 140 pounds. He represents Warriors Muay Thai from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Asim Azizi. Azizi. And his opponent across the ring, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He wears green with purple trim. He weighed in at 139.8 pounds. He represents King's Combat Fitness from Regal Park, Queens, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Contrada. Contrada. All right, here we go. Fourth bout of the evening set to begin. Aria Lagami and Gavin Medlack with the ringside. It's Contrada against Azizi, our first look at a product of the Warrior Muay Thai School in Toronto. And here we go, we're underway. Azizi comes out firing the low kicks. Contrada trying to do work upstairs. Contrada's got to start deploying that front kick, keeping him on the outside. Both men Very aggressive there. style out of Azizi. Azizi, one of several fighters we'll see out of the Warrior Muay Thai School in Toronto this evening. Contrada, originally from Boston, but he now considers New York his home. Azizi takes a spill there. Azizi is aggressive, a little bit playing against him. Pardon me there, I'm sorry. Looks like Azizi with a solid right kick, and down goes Contrada. Leaping front kick by Azizi. Impressive. Contrada looked to take it in stride, but had to affect it. Azizi's aggression level is really high, but his accuracy level is not there. He's trying a lot of things that I think are, quite honestly, you're in the first round right now. You're expending a lot of energy. We're going to see where this goes in the next two rounds. Azizi tries the low kick again. Contrada tries to answer. Both men clinching, looking for position. Contrada trying these inside. We're starting now. We're starting to see. It's easy using it, utilizing that body lock. Better, it's a short man's game with that. You working that body lock, keep your feet to the outside. And Contrada with a good right hand, good roundhouse kick. Both men locked up again in the neutral corner. Marcel Varela keeping a close eye on these two competitors. Ref neutralizes it, breaks them apart. Look, Azizi just walked into a left hand from Contrada as again both men go down. Final seconds of round number one. And there we are. Ladies and gentlemen, March 23rd, head back to the Bronx. Listen in on the action in the respective quarter. Steps in the ring against Alex. Then, Tim Monsell, February 29th. Second round, Contrada and Azizi. Contrada and Azizi back to work. Azizi immediately throws the swing. Back kick comes up empty. 
Both steadily working in the clinch. Joey Contrada in the green trunks. Hasib Azizi out of Toronto in red. Azizi with a three and three amateur record entering action in this edition of Friday Night Fights. Joey Contrada at seven and three. Azizi hits the mat again. Contrada shoves him down. Azizi looks a bit gassed. As you were saying, Gavin, he's trying some very uh, extensive moves here. Uh, a lot of high risk maneuvers, and there's very little payback on those when you miss. At that time, he looked to land with the spinning back kick, but now he goes to his knees again as Contrada kind of shoves him off. I mean, he, what he has in aggression, he lacks in balance. Good right hands upstairs from Contrada. Another right lands inside. Both men exchange circular knees. And now it's Contrada bullying. Ref's got to watch that arm over the rope. Do not use the rope to assist yourself in any kind of movement that is against the rules. Contrada trying to land the knee. And both men go down again. That was a throw it looked like for Azizi. It was a throw by Azizi, but it got neutralized by the corner. Um, the throws are pointed by whoever comes down comes down on top. Uh, Trot is trying to make space to be able to land his knees. He's got the longer legs in it too, so he needs to make that. Um, but again, it's, it's back and forth here in the clinch. Final seconds of round number two. Contrada and Azizi exchanging knees as time comes to a close in this second round. Good fight between Toronto's Hasib Azizi and New York's Joey Contrada, who comes to us by way of Boston, Massachusetts. Let's listen in at the action going on in the respective corners. Both men visibly tired. Friday night fights rolling along here. Our fourth, third, three round fight of the evening. Let's see if there's a stoppage this time around. Contrada again locked up with Azizi, and Contrada trying to land those knees inside. I'm Aria Lagami with Gavin Van Black, the Q Live Sports crew, bringing the action to you from Lucky Strike, Manhattan. Ref steps over, neutralizes the clinch, breaks them. Seems like Contrada looks, think, thinks he has control of the fight. He's trying to be the aggressor here and close the show. The problem is he keeps closing the range. If he stays on the outside it's easy, and doesn't let his easy win, he, he steps right in and he puts his easy right in the position where he can work. He's the longer, taller guy who can sit on the outside. Oh, we have a cut. Azizi is busted open, a cut over the left eye. And it's not, in, it's, it's not going into the eye as it looks right now. They're going to bring the doc up to take a look at it. In the ringside position, Dr. Robert Bolofsky is going to take a look at Asiba Azizi. A cut is opened up over the left eye. And it was interesting as Contrada closed in, it looked like Azizi was looking at the official to maybe come in and take a look a couple moments before the fight was actually stopped. I think that was because of an uh, equipment malfunction, honestly, because he kept pointing towards the groin. I think his cut might have come undone. And he might have been complaining about a low blow. Um, it seems. Yeah, it's good to see it. It's having a. So, Dr. Bolofsky deems as easy to go. Continue. We're back in action here. And as easy comes out aggressive, trying a low kick and a couple of knees as well, but Contrada's fighting him off. Now, another clinch in the corner. 
Marcel Merlo has to break him apart once more. Contrada tries to Here's team. what Contrada works well. He works well on the outside. But he closes in and he gets messy. Absolutely right. He appears to be better from distance. He appears to be the longer fighter as well. Contrada and Green is easy again. And a straight left over the top from Contrada. Tries the spinning back kick again, comes up empty, and Contrada closes ground. Contrada manhandling Azizi again into the corner. Contrada putting a lot of energy into those knees. Final seconds of another three round fight. A decision coming our way. Contrada and Azizi. With an excellent bout as the left eye, the eyebrow area of Azizi begins to swell badly. And the blood that's on Contrada is not his. It comes from the body of Asim Azizi. One of the things I love about this sport is that at the end of that round, you have two guys that were looking basically to take each other's heads off. That bell rings and they look at each other and there is this, there's almost a brotherhood there. You guys have just gone through a, you know, I, I, a period of time together that no one can replace and no one else can intervene in. It kind of bonds fighters. Very few fighters I know, especially the good ones, dislike any of their opponents. And yet, and exactly, as soon as the fight comes to an end, immediate respect, immediate Absolutely. touching of the gloves, bowing of the heads, as if these guys know, yes, they just went through a war against each other, but now it's over and it's yep. time to show check, respect to the check, opponent. Mike check, Mike check. This is the fourth of 13 scheduled bouts on Friday Night Fights this evening. Ari Ogami, Mike Van Black Ringside from Long Beach, Strike Manhattan, David Ramante testing out the microphone. We are waiting a decision from Azizi and Contrada. 29-year-old Azizi out of Warrior Point High in Toronto. Joey Contrada fights out of King's Combat Fitness in Queens. And Contrada originally hails from Boston, Gavin. I was talking to him yesterday, and I asked him if he's a fan of Boston sports teams, which I thought would put us at odds. And he said, "No, I am not. I'm not. I am not a fan of any of those teams." And I said, "Neither am I." So we got especially now because Rigo Park, he lives in Mets territory. <laughs> but he's actually, believe it or not, not much of a sports guy, Gavin. He's actually a musician and a singer. He used to be part of a band called the Righteous Jam. So he spends his time. You'll find a lot of that. You will find a lot of your competitors and your people in, in combat sports. They love the sport they do. Let's go up to David Diamante for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action here at Lucky Strike, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge A scored the bout 29 to 28 for Contrada. Judge C scores the bout 29, 28 for Azizi. And Judge B scored this bout 29 to 28 for your winner by split decision from Rigo Park, Queens, Joey Contrada. So it's Joey Contrada from Queens by way of Boston, Mass, who comes up with the split decision victory here, our first split decision of the night. And it's a two rounds, to, two judges to one decision in favor of Contrado, who moves to 8-3 as an amateur here on Friday Night Fights.